Hello everybody. I'm again today uh, coming with a discussion about febrile convulsion of kids, um, concluding episode. Uh, today, well, as you know, we already discussed about fever with feet, how common it is, how to diagnose them. Uh, now I'll be discussing and also treatment. So diagnosing, uh, actually, it often diagnosed from the description that what we never most of the time see that is feeding the child but we listen to from them what happened um further you know test only we need if what is the infection that is not very clear so basically um it is important that if it happens you just note how much time it lasted what happened body stiffen or there is twitching of the face, arms, legs, staring, loss of consciousness, of, and how much time the child is, uh, was unconscious, whether they had any seizure before. So uh, basically, only thing that is um, serious and infection is there or not, we sometimes, very rarely, have to do tests like meningitis. And of course, blood and urine may be needed testing for infection. Um, so we do sometimes uh, tell them to give the urine sample. For the test, uh, if um, the symptoms are unusual, means very high temperature and seizure not following the normal pattern. So basically, we also observe in the hospital, if it is, I already mentioned, it is not a typical type and it is a complex type of febrile season or convulsion. And um, other tests like electroencephalogram, lumbar puncture, uh, maybe other can be uh, needed if we think so, if they're very small like that. Um, EEG means electroencephalogram is uh, just measure the electrical activity of the brain and electrode are placed on the scalp and you uh, pick up in electrical activity of the brain whether we understand that whether it is an epilepsy or not. Um, so basically in the clear cut uh, febrile conversion we don't de do them. Uh, so not too much worry about that. And lumbar puncture is a small sample of um, cerebrospinal fluid um, is we take out and that you know protect this fluid is around our brain our uh, spine and that fluid we take out with the hollow needle um, from you just put, uh, put in the base of the spine and uh, we just do it by uh, putting a local anesthesia to numb the back and then we take that sample and check test it just to take um the see that whether there is any uh, serious infection now treating uh, this the febrile convulsion uh, actually most of the cases they don't need any treatment um if it's a very clear cut history already i mentioned um and we know what is the con why this infection uh, is there we not need to do anything much but what you have to do during the seizure time um, if it's seizing, then you have to put in recovery position, means put them in one side um, on a soft surface and face to be turned in one side. Um, this will stop swallowing and vomit and will keep their airway open and help to prevent the injury. And stay with your child while they are seizing continuously, means fitting. And note that, um, note that how much time you know it is keep and track in your phone or if you have a um, clock nearby um, if seizure last than less than five minutes call your gp call your uh, nhs 24111 service and but if your child first sees and it uh, lasts longer than five minutes or it longer than five minutes then you have to take to nearest hospital as soon as possible um while there is probably nothing wrong but it is very important that make sure that somebody some medical professional checked it um, now when is uh, actually don't put anything including medication in mouth when the child is feeding your child is feeding 
there is a slight chance may bite their tongue although any damage is not serious and it really heals in few days but still should not put anything in mouth when they are seizing trying to stop some one biting their tongue by placing your hand object can be dangerous both for you and for them now uh, for high temperature just to make uh, your child feel comfortable paracetamol and ibuprofen effective but it not change the chance of having fit and uh, removing any unnecessary cloth bedding also help to lower the temperature aspirin should not be given below uh, 16 years small risk of a uh, condition called rice syndrome can cause liver and brain damage um now nowadays fan or cold sponge is not recommended and li little evidence uh, that that helps or also important to prevent dehydration that drinking is very very important now recurring the febrile seizure now it is a very common question that child you know when child comes with parents parents always ask how much uh, chance that it will happen we always tell it is really with where it can happen again and about one third of the child will have the febrile seizure again during a subsequent infection this often occurs within one year of first infection um now recurrent seizure can happen if that is more likely to happen if the first seizure occur if child is 18 months or low and history of seizure or epilepsy in the family being before having fast uh, seizure your child had a fever that lasted less than 1 hour or their temperature was less than 40 degree your child uh, has multiple seizure during the same febrile episode your child attends a day care nursery increase the chance of developing common infection so that is the reason why they can have more things it is not recommended you give the regular medication to prevent the uh, febrile seizure because uh, it side if every medication has side effect isn't it and also shows uh, that medication that control fever unlikely um, prevent uh, recurrent febrile seizure and however uh, exceptional circumstances Uh, where uh, medication to prevent recurrent fat fat bell seizure is recommended uh, for example child may need medication if they have a low threshold for having seizure during illness particularly if seizures are prolonged in that case a uh, child may have prescribed medication like some dazepam and lorazepam to take at the start of the fever but that is only uh, very rare and very, you know it is specialized recommendation should be there um child who have a febrile seizure following a routine vaccination which is very rare um no more risk of having another seizure compared to the child who have had a seizure due to another cause of fever so that is on lat nat cell about a uh, febrile seizure we discussed in three session hope that give you an idea how you can look up to your child and how what you need to do during seizure um hope this will help you and we will come with another section another uh, discussion next week stay healthy keep your child healthy bye for today happy new year to everybody